Right guys, DWI Dowlin Robot Vacuum Cleaner that I picked up in a charity shop for £15. We've established it does sort of work. I can't say that it's um, the most efficient vacuum cleaner I've ever used. But it did pick up some rubbish off the floor or some dirt. That's some very long hairs. That's not mine. It's not Nanny's either. I don't know where they came from. It must have been on the original customer, owner. Yeah. So, what we're going to do now is take it apart, have a look inside, for two reasons. First reason, it didn't have the charger lead for it. It's USB charged, and you need a plug that will fit in there. I, I don't know if I've got one. But it certainly didn't come with one, so I'm going to have a look inside, see what sort of battery is in there, and see what else we can do. I will have to make up a lead. I don't think there's any doubt about that. But we've got one, two, three, four, five, six screws, plus the gearbox there. Should we look in the gearbox first? Probably can't get it apart without... Oh no, we, we'll have a look in the gearbox first. I expect just to see a crown gear or even a bevel gear. You can't see anything because my hand's in the way. But I'll move it out of the way when we've undone the screws. Right, undone the screws, go into close up mode. Take the cover off. Okay, uh, bevel gears. A fair bit of hair or something around there. Oh, we'll clean them out. There. Well, certainly not new and unused, is it? <laughs> yeah. That's got rid of the worst of it. Okay, so. That was the gearbox.
Again, you can't see what I'm doing because my hand's in the way. I don't think there's anything lost there, just not being able to see me turn the screwdriver. There you are. Look, I'm turning the screwdriver and doing up a screw. Right, so that's uh, that bit. Now we'll undo these screws. screws three screws I wonder how much these were originally I can't imagine they were worth much more than the 15 pounds I've paid for if that You have to accept the markup. For shipping and storage and shop overheads. Right, that's six screws. I'll just lift the camera up a little bit. Ready? The big reveal. Okay, anything drop off? Nope. Turn it over. So, lithium ion battery, 18650. LED, small resistor. Socket for the power on off button. So we've got one electric motor. Put that on for a second. Yeah, one electric motor that's driving the wheels and by these two rubber bands driving these uh, rotating brushes. Another electric motor under there. That one's a much wider electric motor. Wider diameter, but short. To drive the fan. So sucks air in there, blows it out there. And the air sucked in there. Oh, we can demonstrate that. Right, it's sucking in there, so it's sucking in from there, which is going round there and being sucked up there, which is that bit there. So that that's the closed circuit, or the circuit, in there, up, through the filter, down, out. Oh, we'll have a look on the back of here, see if there's any any charger circuit to protect the battery. Save that screw. Oh, there's another one on that side. No, absolutely nothing on the other side. So no protection on the board for the 
battery. Uh, can you see that? It's labelled M1 and M2, motor 1, motor 2. So motor 1 is the fan, motor 2 is the drive motor, and then resistor on the back of there to light the LED. On off button and power in. So nothing very exciting there. I don't see any point in taking that apart. Well, I might do just for completeness, but I'll put screws back in here first. At least I will if I can get me screw in straight. Being awkward. That's better. Uh, okay, we will have a look in here. Oh, these are different length screws. Hang on. Let's separate my magnets up, which I'm using to hold the screws right so I said a wider or bigger diameter motor. Will this unclip nicely or will it break as we try and get it apart? Okay, so that's what we've got inside there. Nothing clever. Motor, blade, impeller blade. Okay, do we want to have a look at, oh, we'll put that back in place. Right, before we do that, let's have a look at them. That does look like there might be a protection circuit on the side of there. I'm not going to cut that open, but there's definitely a little board of some sort there, isn't there? Or it might even be a thermal cutout. Well, worst case scenario, I've paid £15 for a 18650 battery that I can reuse. Are they all the same? Yeah, I think they are. Just a little backward turn first till you hear it click so it lines up the thread. I did watch somebody claiming that they'd invented that idea. That really annoys me. That's been around for rather a long time. If you just turn it forwards, 
turn the screw forwards, you're probably going to cut a new thread in the plastic, which means you'll damage the original thread. If you turn it backwards a little bit, you hear it click, and that's the threads lining up, so you're not cutting a new thread. Okay, let's have a look in here then. I don't think we've got anything clever there, we've just got a pulley on the end of a shaft that turns the brush. Different size screws again. I hate it when they use different size screws. Right, those two are short ones. The others are all the longer ones. Got a screw in the top there to release that gear. Will it lift off anyway? Yes. Right, so worm gear, electric motor, big gear, small gear, big gear, small gear to give us the torque, and that sort of butterfly shaped thing just there is a ratchet which will allow it to slip if it jams and that's it really obviously that goes down to the wheels So can we get that back in there in one go? Relying on the grease to hold it in place. Yeah, I think we have. If I hold that still, press the button. Yeah, they've all lined up. So let's get at least a couple of these back in. Smaller ones in there. Right, so that's that back in place. That one was around that wheel. That was around that wheel. Back on again. So what I need to do is see if I've got anything suitable to plug in there and charge it.
I'll do that separately. You don't need a video of watching me trying to find a suitable sized plug to go in there. So that's it. That's the inside of the DWI Dowlin, whatever it was called. Robot vacuum cleaner. It sounds so much more impressive. Robot van vacuum cleaner. It sounds more impressive than bump and go toy, doesn't it? Which is basically what it is. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, dropped a couple of bits out. That button goes on there. Yeah. And that goes on there. Which way up? Must be that way up. Oh, all right, got that wrong somehow. That's because there's a little ridge there that goes in the other way around. Yeah. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's better. Right. All the screws back in you don't need to watch that so that'll do for this video thanks for watching if you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video you might like this one up here and if you want to subscribe you can check out my channel over here up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.